But we've talked about a lot about Warhammer lately on this channel. There's something even more important to talk about with Games Workshop and the fact that their chief financial officer is selling out. Well, before I show you this one, subscribe to the channel so I can bring you more news like this on the regular. Outgoing Warhammer executive sells over $875,000 of her shares. Games Workshop Chief Financial Officer Rachel Tung cashed out two-thirds of her shares ahead of her planned departure in January 2025. She is grabbing that golden parachute and leveling it back down to earth after the whole debacle of the custies or custodies getting changed up in the game's lore. This is absolutely ridiculous to see. The fact that you have $875,000 worth of shares for a company to be a financial officer, it, it, it's sickening. It really is sickening. <clears throat> Rachel Tong, Games Workshop, current CFO, has roughly has sold roughly $875K of her shoulding. Uh, Rachel Tong has sold eight, or is selling $875,000 worth of their shares. Um, they already announced her intention to leave the firm behind Warhammer 40K and Warhammer Age of Sigmar. She will step down from her executive position in 2024 AGM and plans to depart in January 2025. Uh, Tongue joined Warhammer Manufacturing in September 96. That's a long time. For the last nine years, she has been part of the firm's board of directors, first a group financial director, and since 2022, chief financial officer. So two years, two years as the financial officer and everything is going tits up. So let's cash it out. Let's get the hell out of here. I did my dirty work, wipe those hands clean. I have nothing left to do for this company. I completely turned it on its head. I have been the number one driver. That's what we are seeing here today. Her intention to retire was revealed uh, in the firm's half-year report published in January this year. According to the share dealing notification, uh, Tung sold 7,500 in shares on April 19th with an average selling price of $117 per share, netting $879,000. She still holds over 3,000 shares, almost exactly one third of the original holdings. What does this mean for Games Workshop? Well, nothing really, but the simplest explanation for the sale is that she wants to get big pay out of the out of what could be the next venture or retirement. Well, <clears throat> it's very interesting to go this point to start selling her shares. Well, looking at the shares in the last month, April 14th is when they came out stating that the custodies would be female, that they could be women underneath the helmets. And you can see they were in a, dip, a little bit of a dip in the valley. That has continued to erode where they are being and where they are now on the 26th. They are down quite a bit overall. At this point, they were at 97.87. Now they're at 9,600 for that in the currency that we're getting here today. This is absolute it's devastating. They they are losing their market cap very very quickly at that sense. So what do we do? What what does everyone else need to do on this sense? Well, it's a sit back and watch what's going to happen. Uh, they can correct course on this. You know, I, I covered the the trailer they put out there where things didn't make sense. They didn't actually state in the trailer that the custodians. Um, actually changed up to be female and they talked about the Sisters of Silence. So that is something they can backtrack to. They can turn around, wipe it out, say, you know what, we were mistaken. We've always held our lore to a higher standard, but where are they today? They're not doing that. They're saying, oh, this is a possibility. And why in the world do you want to continue making that a possibility for something that nobody asked for, nobody wants in the lore and everything needs to come back full circle and it's a very interesting time to see their financial officer suddenly just drop shares on a dime like this and say nope i'm out i'm getting out of here now while they're still up high what else is in store for warhammer if the chief financial officer has some knowledge 
of something that's coming down the pipeline, I think it's gonna get a hell of a lot worse. You know, one's gonna ask, why not hold on to the stock until you're actually out? Usually, if you're leaving a company, you wanna leave it on a high note. You wanna do whatever possible to make that stock so much more, to give you that actual golden parachute. Yeah, she's holding on to one third of her stock, selling off two thirds, selling off the majority of it, but is this because there's something coming down the horizon? Are they placating and diving full deep into the diversity that they're trying to push in this game, in the miniatures game? It, it, it what in the world, uh, you know, you can paint your models whatever color you want. You can make your models whatever color you want in the long run. But when you do lore changes that absolutely make no sense and pretty much is a disservice to the rest of the lore of the franchise, you know the brand name is getting ruined. And you've got to ask, why do you sell out? Why are you in the world? Are you not holding on to it all? Wouldn't, like, you want it to go up not down unless something else is coming down the pipeline unless blackrock and vanguard are looking to try and buy up more of this company so they can turn around and be the saviors of the diversity quotas in the long run to make all this money or unless they're pushing the diversity to shortchange the stock to sell off and bet against the stock as it tumbles even further it's going to be an interesting couple years for Games Workshop. Maybe they can recover from this. Maybe they can bring back the fans' good faith of the game. But I don't see them doing that anytime soon. Hopefully, someone can step up to the plate and tell them that they're being idiots in the long run. They're not doing what's good for the consumer base that has loved and built this franchise from the ground up for Games Workshop. No, no, it's completely burn it all to the ground and see what happens after the ashes are no longer there. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix, Cinder Shadow. I am signing off here and do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. You made it to the end of the video, subscribe to the channel. And if, hey, if you're still here listening, maybe, you know what, jump on the memberships of the channel. Get your name at the end. Try and get some more some more comfort in knowing that you're helping someone actually build something here and do something more with themselves. Yes, I work a full-time job, but I do this on the side. This is not my full-time job. So any little bit of help you guys do, support around the channel does it greatly. Anyway, have yourselves a great day. Once again, subscribe to the channel. That's all I ask. Have yourselves a great day. I will see you again very soon. <laughs>